together is egg tart. <laughs> oh my god. Together, we're poda. I'm the crust. She's a custard. <laughs> hey, but I'm so perfect though. I gave some potat to my friend, like American friend, and she loved it. She was like, this is so good. It needs to be everywhere, ASAP. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I was gonna get Lord's Dose, but it was man, the line was so long. Oh, I know. You know what? Like the it's like people were commenting, right? Like, why is there no line? And I was like, because I went on the, in the morning. I went early morning, like maybe right yeah. after it opened. Pro tip, guys, you need to plan yeah, yeah. on these things because mainlanders, you know, the Chinese mainlanders, they mm -hmm. they will wait so they will wait. They are the most patient people, all right? They like, I come all the way from China. My curls are so beautiful. It's beautiful. Thank you, thank you. It's this hair mask that I'm using um, from, it's a Japanese one. I bought in Watson C. You know, Watson's. It's like the CVS <laughs> in Macau and Hong Kong, don't you think? CVS and Walgreens, <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, or what's the other one called? Manning's. Yeah. Oh, Manling. Yeah, Manling. And what's in C? But yeah, Japanese hair products are pretty good. I I I like remember they have good like alternatives for curly hair also. Um, you know, because there's not a lot of products for Asian people. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice, but I'm then I work like... from home, so it's just like, who am I showing these curls? To? That's why you gotta go out, get a coffee and or a smoothie, you know. Okay, hello guys, it has been so long. Um, how long I'm walking la? How long I'm walking la? Mm -hmm. It's been like at least two, three weeks. So, yeah, because uh, we've been yeah a lot of a lot of out and about. Out and about, a lot of things have happened. About. I went to Macau. Wait, you went to Macau first, actually, right? Like for a, for like six days. I think right? it was during November. Oh, that's true. true. Yeah, I did. <clears throat> this was November, and you never, we never even like talked about that. And it's just like you know, life, life really, life really, is life be life in. Yes, but first things first. Our dear friend Cat Lou. You know, oh, okay. Of subtle Asian baking gave us a gift. Nice. Right. If you guys didn't know, we had two. Wait, I think we had two episodes with Cat before. Like one, one for the testing with a bunch of bananas. First one was yes, we interviewed her. The second one we had a competition, little competition of baking with a bunch of bananas, and that was really fun. It's like when you open presents, do you destroy the wrapping or do you not destroy the wrapping? All right. Let's read this, all right? It's a letter from Kat, all right? Dearest Paji and Yasmin, thank you for supporting and lifting me. Every copy of Modern Asian Kitchen sold, I donate at least 8% back to the community, supporting causes like the Very Asian Foundation and the Wing Loop Museum in Seattle. Since 2020, my group Subtle Asian Baking and I have raised over 101K dollars wow. for AANHPI communities and charities we care about like Ukraine and Palestine relief we are paving the path here much love and thank you for your support Cat Lou if you guys like Asian cooking you have to get her like uh, her book recipes because there's just so much stuff um in it and I think it's just so good even if you don't know how to cook like just learning how to cook Fit bites. Oh yes, Lots of fit bites. Protein powder, Ooh. baby. Ooh, powder. Look, brown sugar. Oh, brown sugar milk tea flavor. MSG, baby. Oh, that's a Because who doesn't love MSG? Mm -hmm. Matcha to go. Matcha to go. From Aya, it's from Aya. <laughs> Literally, it's called Aya. That's so cute. All this little goodies in and the box. Oh, God, the book. <gasps> oh, that's a new book. That's the Modern oh. Asian Kitchen. So if you had the mod Modern Asian Baking, that's for bake people who like baking. But if you want to learn to cook, 
this is the book to get guys and we'll link it in the bio Whoa. i mean link it below we should really like when we meet up or hey when we next meet up we should oh my god that's true together read out like like three or four recipes that are in there or like first one miso soup miso oh, soup. oh yeah something so good for the throat Garlic green beans with furu. Furu. What's furu? Furu is furu sauce. See, we also have to learn. Yeah, we have to learn. Oh, oh, oh! Mouth watering tonkatsu. Ah, tonkatsu. Oh, oh, oh! Ooh, I just see a picture of chasu right here. <laughs> For the right. rice rice cooker. Thank you. Don't tell Saya. Thank you. Tagate. Tagate. Oh, yes. Cat is our tagate. We, we should definitely have an episode where we cook one of those meals. Definitely. Definitely. A little recap of, I guess you could talk about your experience in Macau. Maybe I could talk about a little bit too and like how Macau is like now and yes. visiting a back home i mean first of all you did the international women's event in hong kong which i feel like is the coolest thing um with a lot of women in hong kong and just like collab and then you have you gave like a talk as well yes yes that was a uh, i mean i was pretty nervous because i mean i'm not i don't consider myself a very serious person but but yeah, it was it was nice because you get to really, um, you know, get inspired. You know what they say: uh, you should manifest what you want, right? You should you should try to to like at least see what the people that are succeeding doing to see like oh what is there do you mm. want to like um follow and stuff you know learn from them exactly learn from them broaden your circle so yeah like this what i did i was invited to the hong kong women of hong kong um, we met you also met like a few guests on the episode which was like in, meeting oh. them in person which was probably proudly really asian fun. yes and isabel and also uh steph mighty munchkin yes that was um that was definitely an experience i was like oh my god you're here <laughs> you're real i know because right? we've been doing all this work so remotely like just online so i, know. I feel like that was like our very first your very first like in-person event where you showed up publicly as like you know influencer <laughs> oh my god i was like uh, yeah there are some times like in macau and hong kong that like some fans actually recognize me and i was like oh my god or i just don't know how to act you know they're like oh my yeah god, how, how do you and i'm like yeah that's me like you're the girl from tiktok i'm like yeah like at least <laughs> tiktok too and i'm like we're not that famous on tiktok so i was like oh okay i guess so yeah <laughs> thanks that's all I say. Yeah, no, I was like, okay, maybe we could give a moment here for you to say what you want to say to the fans that you met. <laughs> well, um, guys, if you have met me in the street and I said something weird, I'm sorry. All right, it's usually <laughs> like, like so, I don't know, like, because first I was like, oh, thank you, and there was because the, the, there was this person just like saying, oh, I know you. I'm like, you're the girl from TikTok, and I'm like, yeah. Yes, that's me. And then and he laughed. And then t my mom was like, next time you should say thank you for following. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, but no, what I know it's like you. you just get caught in the moment. You're like, oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, thank you. I like, my mom was like, you should ask, you should ask them if they want a picture. I'm like, I don't, I mean, I'm I'm like trying hard, like not to like, like just, just act normal, you know? I feel like it's weird to ask for a picture. Like, do you want a picture with me? Like, that's so. <laughs> no, it's like, who do you think? You I would not. <laughs> no, dude, dude, it was so funny. There was these two friends that came up to me. Like, one one was like more like Gaudan, like more brave. It was like, oh, I don't know you, but uh, my friend follows you on Instagram and like wants a photo with you, like that. And I was like, uh -huh. oh, I appreciate that. You know, it's just like, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, like I would not know if someone wants a 
picture with you. So I'm never going to ask. So yes, ask me because I mean, I would most likely say yes. Cause it's like, I mean, my face is everywhere anyways. You know what I mean? It's like, all right, you have my permission, you know? Yeah. But yeah. It's and you experience. get to like eat, eat again, like good Asian food. I mean, for you, it's harder, right? Cause you're in Florida, like back in Macau. Oh, yes. And the thing is that, like, I think, I honestly think because in America, we they don't use MSG that, you know, when you first get into, back to, like, the MSG, like, everywhere type of thing, it's like, it kind of, like, MSG overwhelms. World. I don't know, it overwhelms me at first, at least, my stomach. My, my, my stomach's Aww. just so weak now. But, like, after the first few days, it, like, like, it's fine. But, I mean, that's me also in Philippines, like. From when I go visit Philippines, even from Macau, like the first like day, strong. yeah, like the first day I would get sick, but then like, like it's real, it's like after drinking, maybe if I accidentally drink like ice or some like something like mm, ice mm, 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 or like, but I will like just, just like get sick one day and then the next day I'm like, I'm fine. You know, like it's because of the pollution in Manila. Yeah, in no, the water, the water is definitely like when they like say like, Oh, you're going to Mexico? Like, careful, don't drink tap water. And yeah, I mean, I can, I can definitely like testify to that because we went to Mexico, a different part, and it was what more remote. And even if you walk past the water, you'll smell like sulfur. And you know what sulfur smells like? It's like eggy. It smells eggy. And then, and then I think we were just drinking like water or washing fruits in the tap water, and then we had like really bad diarrhea for like 10 days it wasn't even diarrhea it was just water straight through Oof, like, <laughs> yeah oh, it was, cannot there was no, no fart yeah and i i like had to drive my mom to pennsylvania and it's like a two-hour drive and i was like i'm not gonna eat anything because if i eat half an hour later it's just <sighs> Ooh, and it's so hard to like just so, find a place um you know like uh to, to, to go bathroom you know what i mean you just you gotta go to a gas station but it's just like yeah oh god i don't need to i don't need to get gas so yeah, yeah and you know i was so uh excited before coming to america like oh i'm gonna come to america and then start drinking tap water but then now they oh. say that it's bad Why for you? you now oh, when really? i get to, yes now when i got to america they're like oh don't drink the tap, tap water get filtered you have to filter it blah, blah, blah. we're buying what bottled water now like it's like oh, yeah we don't yeah. trust the, the the tap anymore which is like um i thought i came to america for this reason you can buy those like plastic filters, you know, like like yeah. a little pitcher. Which plane do you, did you go like when you went to? What airline? To, yeah, which airline? Eva airline. Eva, 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 Eva. Eva, yeah. That's yeah. the one that goes straight to Macau, right? No, I think it goes to Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. I went to Hong Kong, yeah. Because I did United like before, like the one the first time I I went back with Delta versus this time I went back with United and United is way better. Like in terms of um just space of the airplane for some reason and like and there's Wi Fi. I had Wi Fi like the whole time. It was crazy. I was like it's like I never even like left. But anyways, yeah. um and also there it's like only one layover like to San Francisco. And then straight to Hong Kong instead Same of two. Plan. Like last time, I had three and then two. So, yeah. So How was it seeing your family and your childhood friend? Oh yeah. After a long. I haven't seen my childhood best friend. I know Yasmin is one of them too. Like because she's literally like the one in school. But my outside <laughs> best friend that I haven't seen for like five years. You know. Because adulting gets like gets that way. Um, yeah, I met her yeah. in Macau uh, after five years, and it was so nice. It's like <laughs> no, it's like no time has passed, honestly. <laughs> yeah, know. and just like a little. I mean, she was actually on our as I guess we talked about like Filipino and like beauty standards because she's also half Filipino. But just for context, like you guys grew up together they did all, a lot of things together and i feel like it's kind of she's kind of like your sister but then you move to a new country start a new life and then like just not having her around is probably definitely like, another You're thing right. to adjust to it's hard i mean especially like i work from home now and it's like you know i don't really have friends period like 
like to talk to in real life and so like to have her like to ha feel that again i was like oh it's nice it's sad. i mean it was like you know seeing you again like that's why i was like bro i can't believe it I haven't... yeah because like growing up yeah, uh, my little sisters they are 10 12 years old like young younger than me like they're closer in age to each other so mm -hmm. they are they have that sibling bond more you know i would say and then i would say like sandra and i would have more of a sibling bond yeah which makes sense makes sense and you feel like you got the most out of your time in macau well how long were we there for two three weeks two and a half weeks um and yeah, I think I did because last time I was sick. So for for sure this. Time, oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, I was like, I was ready <laughs> this time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had way more food. You know, I went to I even went to Hong Kong for two days. Oh my so. god! If you guys follow us, all the food video from Macau, mouth watering, literally. Oh, so I really. Good. Yeah, it's so funny, Sandra. Sandra made a good point. It's like, um, you know the udon and stuff right like uh, in in tagalog that's curry fish ball for those curry who don't fish know. ball yes kali udon uh um for for tagalog is tusuk tusuk like tusuk tusuk, tusuk, tusuk. tusuk like poke pokes like it's funny yeah tuk pokes it's like how do you call it tuk pok. so it's like tuk. chun it chun chun i'm not like that right mm -mm 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 -mm. yeah but it's so good i miss those so much because like it's just not something that you can also convince westerners that is like <laughs> it's, it's good right it's, yeah, yeah or or that it's I'd... um healthy it's up to health code <laughs> i know i know like it's like if you go to some eastern european country and then you see something on the street you're like what is that but then for someone who grew up with it they're like trying to con they're trying their best to convince you this is the best thing in the world yeah, yeah. i mean i guess we just have that connection with <laughs> yes exactly i mean the most they could withstand is street tacos here i guess I oh mean my god the street tacos we tried in florida that was so good right <laughs> why do the mexicans do it so well it's so good so good so good no yeah i really had a great time with the food um yeah every macau is so small you can walk, anything you new really walk anywhere anything new in macau yeah. yeah uh well there's that train light trail train that i mm. took like so if you train. hate buses and being crowded don't worry guys you can still visit macau and use a train there's a like rail train and honestly you can walk anywhere like like especially when if you're like in the same region like in Taipei, you could just like, walk everywhere and i mean i went to hong kong for a weekend and the comparison is just oh my god i forgot how much more tiring it is going around hong kong compared to beep, 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 beep. <laughs> this is the sound of the mtr yes there's like mtrs but then it's like you have no idea guys hong kong is 70 times bigger than macau like it's way bigger like to go to places like like it's further Ugh. it's just another it's another level and for some reason, some parts of it just gets like more. I mean, yeah, it gets more crowded, like because yes. more people, right? Yes, very crowded. Exactly. Like, I mean, I love Hong Kong. Obviously, like there are like the nature parts. We went. Remember, we went um climbing hiking. The yeah, we went hiking. Yeah, they have like blue scenery. waters, like pure blue water. And then the such islands. Contrast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so different. Like you can find such different places in Hong Kong, and that's the beauty yeah. of it. But you know, there's just times where I'm like, all right, my feet is my feet has done enough walking. That's why it's time to go. Ah, her conch. Yeah, uh, Hong Kong, Hong Kong is nice. Yes, and uh, yeah, uh, but yeah, the humidity was literally 100 percent. oh god i see like like videos of people like just filming the floor inside a building and it's it's like wet and they're like did it rain inside the building because it, it looks like it rained and i don't miss that because it gets slippery too like when you're walking yes. down the stairs i had cr my I, was I, like I, dead oh god <laughs> hopeless um 
Yeah, no, I just forgot about how humid Hong- Macau is, like Hong Kong Macau is. Yes. So. so yeah, I bought a lot of snacks this time too, you know, because I'm like, oh my That's God. so important. So important. So important. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And then like uh Kevin was like, uh some of those you can buy it here. And I'm like, yeah, but not in these prices. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather buy all the way from the other side of the world, pack it in my luggage, go through check-in and enjoy it. Exactly. Then buy it <laughs> so with funny. American prices. Yeah. Dude, like I mean, how about you? Like when when you last were there, like it anything like in particular that's different for you? um was that that was only six days because i wasn't even planning so i just surprised my parents you, like you did too now you surprised your parents yes. um she was so surprised yeah. <laughs> um but yeah I, I that was just very short so like i mean we ate here and there but mostly i spent time with my family and i didn't really tell my friends since it's just a few days mm-hmm. but i I don't know i just yeah the food <laughs> good i just remember like being in mcdonald's and ordering 10 20 packs of shake shake fry seasoning <laughs> and i think i still have uh, I but just, um I, I just had the other day yeah <laughs> yeah i like say i also buy seasonings like um for cooking because i i like cooking so I just save up all the seasonings and I also because I went and that's a trip I went to Thailand and in Thailand I bought a bunch of like seasonings for my luggage so (laughs) that's a great yeah I feel like like just that whole idea of traveling doing long-term travel like long travels when we're older like it's like and when we were younger it's like oh this is so exciting like this travel like long time like a long trip but now it's like, oh, I'm nervous and I don't really want to yeah, it takes be a lot on of a your plane time. for that long. Yeah, it takes a lot of your time. And then like adjusting, like, you know, I push myself to go out every day, but I'm tired, so tired from being jet lagged. Like I would be yawning, Lola, Lola. but I'm like, you yeah. know, I got to still do it. But yeah, Oof. Lola, Lola, Lola. <laughs> but man, I wish like one day got to manifest that we get like a sponsorship to both of us go back to Macau, you know, explore Macau together. That would be amazing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That would be amazing. And we could do meetups in Hong Kong. Yes, because people kept asking and... us. And then I'm like, I mean, I don't know how to do it. So it's like, <laughs> it would be like a place that wants us there. So, so that it would be like easy. <laughs> imagine yeah so um yeah if you guys want to go to macau or hong kong you gotta learn some cantonese and our Uh, cantonese course is opening registration soon so exciting or maybe it's already open by the time this uploads i don't know but just in case uh sign up in the link below for a special discount if the discount hasn't already ended now Mm -hmm. yeah (laughs) because like if you go visit hong kong and macau like this is just an example scenario right you want to find like a local gem with the good food and you ask a local like what is the best restaurant for like aulamin for example right and it's usually those restaurants that are not popular not like super nicely decorated like we don't care about the aesthetics of it it's usually the ones that are local and usually they don't have english right i mean not always sometimes they do maybe hong kong has more than macau yeah. but uh just what if right you're in a scenario and you gotta recognize some chinese words or like know how to order or be like i'm going like hey can you help me or you yeah, know, that's like one thing I always things. also forgot, you know, like when you go into restaurants in Macau, like in Hong Kong, you just get a seat. You don't wait to be seated. Oh, yeah. You grab the seat wherever. And you can even get a seat that's like empty, like with someone else. Like, or they will or you go Oh to yeah, a shared where, table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or you it's, go to- it's just so crowded, but people still want the food, so you share it with the table with someone else, which is yes. like 
you can ask the waitress like oh are you a kiddo like oh long go down and they will like seat you wherever and they will might they, they might seat you with someone else and don't be don't yeah, be yeah, scared yeah. because you get one receipt <laughs> for like whatever you order and it's not by mm. table and and you can ask mm, any true, true. any like waiter or waiter waitress to come by you anyways like yeah so it's so nice to know some cantonese before you go to these places you know even oh, cool. even oh, if um you know There's a lot of English already, like in those places, because it's very touristy. It's nice to understand if they speak Cantonese beside you, you know, to know like yeah. what they may be saying. And um, yeah, and if you check out like our our homepage for that, you'll see reviews of why people learn Cantonese and reasons why you should learn Cantonese too, because it's it's like a language that you need. to under you need to really know the roots for you to understand like you know people and and, and the the humor the sayings like just a lot of it and it's it's fun it's a fun language and you know when the way we teach you is like we're fun we're chill it's kind of like you're having a conversation but you're still learning yes you get the pdfs like like a little booklet and and like exercises and quizzes in the end of, of every every module every lesson so yeah um and also writing i writing exercises so you oh can, like, writing write. exercise hey what episode we should do writing like me and you see oh my god yeah <laughs> maybe even one. when you're here oh we're really alive. planning a in-person meeting again guys <laughs> um most likely in the east coast no. when once we're sure we'll let you know but i mean how many of y'all will actually meet us though <laughs> comment below let's see comment below and guess where we're meeting <laughs> oh okay, 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 okay that's a good idea that's a good idea uh it was great catching up guys if you have any other questions you know like of macau and hong kong let us know like we're here we're here to to answer y'all yes this was a catch-up episode and it was nice thanks for joining us and we'll have more exciting things coming soon you know like yes we are reopening this course but what's coming next you know like there's a lot of exciting things so stay tuned stay tuned and, and um, let us know what uh, what you're looking forward more on um saying thank you bye guys thank you bye yellow